So, hi there. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were there. Uh, <laughs> Why, well, hello there, friends. Eric here. It has been a year. Can you believe that? And I kind of wanted to put on an outfit similar to what I had on the other video. Just so you can kind of see the weight loss. The 95 pounds I have lost since the 7th of June. And it has been a tremendous year. It has been a lot of personal growth. A lot of struggle at the same time because let me tell you something honey this ain't easy okay they talk about some oh you taking the easy way out no the hell you're not it is the roughest thing i've ever done in my entire life um lots of mental anguish lots of body dysmorphia lots of still not feeling good enough and i know that this isn't supposed to fix me but i thought that things would maybe be a little bit better emotionally and mentally by now um but, you know, I'm still evolving. Um, things are still going along. Um, so, still some adjustment to happen. I mean, I am only a year in. Um, but again, welcome back to my channel. I am down 95 pounds since the 7th of June of 2023. Right now, I'm recording this part of this video on the 3rd of June, 2024. So, it's been about a year. Um, this is the day that I actually, in 2023, started fasting for the surgery, or not fasting, but starting as a clear liquid diet, um, which was so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Let's go down the list here. Pretty much all I can have is apple juice, cranberry juice, um, water, jello, tea, coffee with no milk, ginger ale, which is my favorite, popsicles, Propel or G2 or Gatorade. That's pretty much all I can have. And that is necessary three days before surgery. As you can see, well worth it. Well, apparently Smokey wants to be on TV as well. Don't you, babe? Well, anyways, today on this video, you'll be watching me go and see Dr. Fitzer or his office at least for my one year follow up. So come along. Oh, Smokey, hush. Yeah, um, that's crazy to look at. <laughs> the difference is so crazy. I'm in my phone, or in my phone, in my car, filming this on my phone right now. I'm not filming this. Well, you know what I mean. All I can say is that I'm blessed. I look like a completely different person. Good morning. It is the day, the day I go to see my bariatric doctor for my one year check-in. It is exactly one year from surgery. Today is the 7th of June, 2024. And my surgery day was the 7th of June, 2023. Um, it's been quite the year, but yeah. Oh, I don't know if you see this, but I got some new little guys. But anyway, come along with me today as I go to the doctor and we check in and hopefully they say I've done a good job. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've lost 95 pounds. So like, boo, why are you so nervous? But I am. So hopefully I'll get over my jitters, but come along. All right, all dressed, all ready to go. Walk into the car. I'm still nervous, but hopefully that subsides soon. I'm excited to see how they react, but let's get this show on the road, literally. So I just left the appointment. I saw the dietitian and the physician assistant and everything went well. I was freaking out for no reason. Um, They're very happy with my progress. Um, I, with all my clothes on, I weighed 258 today. And uh, they're seeing an attainable goal for me 
It's about 220, so I have about 35 pounds more to lose. And they say that typically you'll lose about 70% of your excess body weight. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a great job. I just need to continue to keep up the good work. Um, if it on my lab, look uh, good. That's great. So really, I just need to primarily focus on a little bit more protein and also taking a little bit longer to eat because I've been eating a little bit too fast. They want me to take you know, about 30 minutes to eat and bites every 45 seconds. So that's going to be fun, <laughs> but well worth it. So all that worrying for no reason. <sighs> but. I'm happy the year went by smoothly. I'm happy that there were no complications. I'm blessed for that. And um, this year to the future. So time to drive back home. All right, so I haven't quite made it home yet, but I just had to pull over just to kind of give my thoughts and uh, kind of wrap up the video, so to speak. <laughs> Um, as I mentioned before, it's definitely been a challenging year. Um, I've been through a tremendous transformation and I am very blessed. But what I really wanted to talk about at this point is I really wanted to emphasize the importance of keeping your mental health right. Um, I guess you could say I got in kind of a dark place for a little bit because I was very hyper fixated on comparing myself to others and their weight loss and my journey to their journey. When in reality, we're all individuals and we all go at our own pace. But I was stressing so much to the point where I would weigh myself every day. I would, you know, probably do some unhealthy things with food, <laughs> like not eat enough uh, protein and stuff. Um, but I went through a couple of phases where, you know, I struggled a little bit. And what I really wanted to highlight is the importance of having a therapist, especially during this kind of life-changing thing. Because um, I can say without mine, just in general, the past 10 years I've been seeing her, um, I wouldn't have been able to get through this or some of the other things that I've been through. So. We really need to emphasize the importance of mental health, especially when it relates to something life altering like gastric bypass or weight loss surgery because your entire life changes. Your relationships with people change. Your relationship with food changes. And that can be hard. I mean, that can be sometimes things that people can't do by themselves. So don't ever feel inferior for asking for help because and from my perspective, when you ask for help, that's brave as hell. And that shows that you care about yourself. And that shows that you're you're really trying to make yourself a better person. So with that said, thank you guys for following me along on my journey. Um, I also provide updates here and there every once in a while. Um, I don't go back to the doctor's office for another year. But I'm going to try to upload some videos on you know, just tips and tricks of the trade and things that I've learned and cooking videos. Like, um, I've been really inspired by a lot of uh, folks I've seen on TikTok with their bariatric specific meals or portion sizes or things along those lines. So please stay tuned. There's more to come. But anyways, thank you again. Have a great day and uh, I will see you next time.